What's going down, Man Eater fans? Today we're greeted with a 1.11. Tripwire filters out what is going to be the hot fix for the Truth Quest 2. So, my name's Mac here at the Mirror 7 channel. If you're brand new, hit the subscription button in company with a notification bell and get excited. We're going to take a look at the patch notes and see what's changed. There's more than ECI than what Tripwire has led on to, so let's see exactly what I was able to dig up to. So, stick around for the whole video and let's find out what has changed. Going over directly to where they had released yesterday, which was today's patch note, give or take, filtered into there, you can see that the hotfix in the server encountered when playing Maneater for the keep out gates and the flaw tick bayou. This closed base on the location, the expand and the entitlement changes across all platforms that were previously included inside of the EGS for the players inside of the previous hotfix. VO inside of the Shannon Sims and the Bounty Hunter intro and the progression blocks being affected by locations, setting and including inside of sonar and the ladder objects. Now what I was able to dig up on top of that is going over to the good old fashioned PlayStation 4. Yeah, gotta love this. We go over here and we're greeted by a little bit more than meets the eye. So we can see that the memory optimization and performance improvements was not listed directly on top of there, including as far as evolutions menu screen, the VFX optimization going instead of the gore chunks, the nutrient UI. So you also have the apex predators, bounties, on top of the spawning system enclosed inside of the population, inside of the Xbox One base kit. As we can continue to scroll down, what they have grouped into what we have seen is a 1.11. You see right up there, our hot fix. You can see that at this point in time, the menu adjusts inside of the cursor, snaps onto the overhead, and builds a number inside of the menu. Very easy to navigate. Of course, as far as gameplay comes into, the feature checks for unlocking the achievements ensures the players is properly rewarded having seen the achievements slash trophies on top of that the fixes an issue where the quester on the bounced off the shark were grabbed or eaten on top of that for as far as the firefly fx no longer matched with the plover island environment and the fix the crash where the occurs inside the bounty 5 terranova battle including some of the support that happened to proceed went inside of what was for the credits. The art and minor changes comes down to billboards, fixes issues inside of the heights, inside of the Fatwick Bayou region. So this is basically all that we've summed up and take away from this update. So if you're newer to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe for future content. From a returning community members, you see that from my technology community side, I'm running some tests on some AMD right after I finish the testing that I'm doing on a video right now. So get excited. There's a lot of updates that are going to be coming out throughout the channel. So get ready for the notifications. And again, if you don't have those notifications, not already subscribed, hit the notification bell with that red button to show YouTube how much you like the algorithm that's going down. So I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy. And I'm very excited to see where the future of Maneater and where we have the truth quest and where it can evolve past this. So smash of likes of what's going down for everyone enjoying this game and a comment down below to what you would like to see in future content updates as well as what you see in the seas that are bugs that are still permanent inside of this portion of gameplay. I would love to hear what you have to show. So see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.